I, I grew up just believing that money was meant to be spent. So coming into marriage, I felt it was the same formula. And I'm like, you know what? I, I have this talk. money. I feel like going to eat somewhere today. I go. I don't. I don't. I don't think of the consequences. Research because we've been research seek advice because seek we've, advice, been, we've, been we've been burnt we've, we've been, been burnt, burnt from, from investments investments so but that's that's the nature of investing it's risky it's risky you but know. always ask there are a lot of investor bankers and then, do it, and then do it together yes I think doing it together is really the key because um, I I hear stories of maybe like a woman or a man that took the house rent or the children's school fees I went to put it in some Ponzi scheme and, and lost, everything. lost everything. And then they're like, oh, what am I going to tell my husband? What am I going to tell my wife? Yeah. yeah. But if you had sought advice, you know, you had or that conversation, both yes. of you Would have agreed assessed and, that, okay, know, this is what we're willing to And then to, if, if it doesn't yes. work out, there's no resentment or hatred or like, and oh. And then learn contentment. I mean, how do you take your children's school fees? We all want money in Nigeria. Everybody's yes. looking for money. I want more money. She wants more money. Is there anybody here that doesn't want more money? <laughs> everybody wants more money. But you also need to learn that, you know, the first, put the first thing first, priorities. Yeah. You want to pay children's school fees, you pay it. You can't say, I'm going to use children's school fees to quickly do something. And multiply and, No, no, that's a bad habit. Yeah. And once you realize that this is a problem I have, then you should seek help. Yes. Talk to your partner about it. Let them hold you accountable. Get an accountability partner. Get an accountant. You know, get a finance First professional to advise you to or speak do a portfolio to, for yeah. you. And just say there's that, so hey, many resources. There's so many, ways so many that resources can, that you, you can, can actually get. build your online your free budgets. Always budget. Yes. I budget everything. Every single thing. I want to travel. I budget. I want to. I get some money. I but even before the money comes in, I have budgeted. budgeted yeah. So you know. So that way, I'm able to plan. I'm able to forecast. I'm able to say, okay, I I, I will be able to do this by this time because life is, life is, it's 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 so tricky. Yeah. You know, it's you know we've spoken about unforeseen circumstances. You never, never know, know what's around the next corner. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Oh, you know. That counting chickens before they hatch. Oh, yes. oh, there's this money someone's going to give me <laughs> tomorrow. What if and that the doesn't money come never out? Comes. I mean, we've heard of people who get massive government contracts and then there's just a change in regime. A couple of days, that's it. Yeah. It's happened to me before. You know, <laughs> I got a contract. Well, this wasn't even government, it was corporate. I got a contract on Friday and by Monday, there was a new person. <laughs> and they're taking And that it. was the end. <laughs> So imagine I'd spent all the money yeah, that by Monday. Monday. Uh, by Monday, totally different person, yeah. you know. So that's that's something that you should always watch out yes, for. Yes, watch out for it. Yeah. Um, I understand that there are also issues around finance in terms of um, um, women earning money. So I mean there's You mean earning earning more than the man? Earning more than the man, earning at all. Okay. You know, in some situations, you know, a man might feel like I have to, I'm the provider. So don't Therefore, work. Therefore, sit in the house and everything. I mean, if that's what both of you agree, that's fine. It's dangerous. And I think it's dangerous because I don't think the, the owners should of be on one person. finance should be on one, one individual. Yeah. You know, even if, it's, if, you, if you decide not to work and yes, they are a home mom or housewife, which is another, I mean, that's great and it's, I mean, in and of itself, that is work. Work already. You get. Are you getting? It's are you getting an allowance? Yeah, an allowance. An allowance from the other person. Yeah. Are you getting pocket money? Are you? Do you understand? Something that you can still put away as well. Yeah. Because that is. It's. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. And then, then for, for women, people who are who women who are earning more than their yeah. husbands, I think. Um, I mean, as a man, you are wired to be the provider mm -hmm. you want to be the the one that's taking care of yes, business but i i also um i mean it's a i think it's a mind shifting 
maybe if you sit down and analyze where is this coming from in most cases it's ego yeah it's just ego it's not it's not anything grounded in actual reality you are partners it's two of you together trying to work towards a purpose against the rest of the world so i mean if you are in a business partnership with someone and you are both guys yeah. how would you treat it okay do you understand so like if you're if, partners if and your one partner is bringing anymore, in more business okay then you are you are... going to i mean i'm not saying you should sit on your hands and not do anything about mm. it but i don't think you're going to feel as emasculated as, as if it's as your it, as, other partner yeah so just see your wife as your partner your your better half this is my half and this person at this point in time because there are seasons yeah times change there are times where she was the one bringing the baking she was the one paying the bills providing you understand she was the one that used to give me money to go and do you understand yeah. um whatever it is i needed to do at that point in time so i think it's an and approach, i think it's because i think it's uh, because an from the beginning women. yes i think before, because from the beginning we already had that oh you know this is how we want to handle money it wasn't such a big, big deal. deal to me and then i guess upbringing my mom was my mom was a giver a, a worker no mm. she was working okay, and she okay. was earning she was mm. earning well okay. so like i think I, i don't know maybe for me just didn't so i think for on the women's part i think it also depends it also depends on approach so some women might i know a lot of women that give without even you knowing that they are the sole providers in their home but on the flip side there are also women that feel like eh, because he's going through this phase right now they are angry there is resentment so i think you can if you can backtrack and figure out why you have resentment because that could also rub off because in marriage it's it's a lot it's a lot when you have to be the one you feel alone you feel like he's not doing anything to to help you so everything is all on you and probably you were not raised that way to take on so much responsibility so sometimes when he even asks eh, can i find can i find one thank you day you know and you just give it to him one kind because you're probably stressed he will read it as because i came to ask you mm. you know so it's 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 a combination of things so i think approach also matters so i think for us when that was happening i never at any point made you feel less of a man do you understand i would even be want to say oh do you need cash mm. do you understand you'd be like why i'm not okay no this week i'm withdrawing cash do you want cash mm. i know how much i'm withdrawing mm. no so i think it also it, it has to come from a place of love like a place of i believe in this person this is just a phase and i'm just helping so it's more like a i'm harvesting or planting a seed like i'm investing mm. like you understand it will never remain this way yeah. you get so when 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 the tables turn The man will always remember that ah when I didn't have sha mm. this woman was there for me you understand so in their own little way they can also re- reciprocate okay. and be like ah don't worry I got this you know I want to treat you so I think approach also matters we also need to learn because I know women we can be very <sighs> we can we we can keep some things you understand so it's just a phase it will pass I don't think you should show that resentment or approach because also how we treat our men will reflect back so if you take the man like you low bum he will read it yeah. he will read it he will pick on it and be like ah shit because of this my current situation when yeah, I, when, yeah, yeah, that, yeah and that's the thing because i've heard stories yeah. of men where you know the woman was taking care of the responsibilities and then they have But money he was still bitter yes and then when the guy gets money he's like he's it's showing a her, and then it seems like oh But, but she was there for was you. There for, no. It was how how was, how was yes. she making him feel? feel at the time. How was she treating him at yes. that point? Yes. Yeah. I feel like um it's unhealthy. Yes it is. But we're um, human beings. No, I understand that, but I I believe that if, you know, people just communicate. Because you see that communication thing. It's very very it's important. It's very vital. Yeah. If you feel like you're being taken for granted, talk. L- l- have a conversation about it. If you feel like you're being um, disrespected, have a conversation about yeah. it. And I feel like the other person should just try to understand where this person is coming, also from coming from without being judgmental. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's not easy. It's not easy. I mean, we've all heard horror stories of um, a woman that is making money and then the man is just blowing all the money and 
using the woman's money, money. to carry women, yeah. to, you know, to flex. And it's just draining her. We've heard those stories. We've heard stories of men who are investing in women, sending them to school, helping them to get they better. Around, they get yeah. to a certain level and boom, they, they are leave. off with the boss. Or they're having children for other... I mean, the horror stories are, are there. there. Yes, granted. But, but everybody's situation is unique. In your situation, what you should be trying to do is make it the best that you can. You do your best. Let your partner try to do your best. I mean, men and women are compatible. They are compatible. You just you just need to find common ground. Once you find yeah. common ground, you're fine. You're fine, yeah. It's not easy. I mean, I'm not saying we all have this finance thing all figured out yet. <laughs> we still have uh, blowouts. We're still to we still have uh, issues where, uh, yeah. uh, what, what's all this, you know? I, there are times I will, you know, I, I go, like, so I have this really weird habit. If I walk into certain places, hmm. I, alone, there's going to be financial damage. <laughs> so because I know that, I, w- I won't go to those places alone. So if you take me to a sneaker store, there's a problem. It's all over. There's a problem. So I will go to a sneaker store with my wife. I, w- I can wait till when she's available <laughs> to go with her. Or I will go with someone that I know will curb my excess. Because yeah. I know if I go there alone, so women too, same thing, you know. Yes. Just figure out what your triggers are. Uh, and and let the, let the, the other person know. know. Work together. The key thing here is togetherness, openness, transparency. Just keep remembering we're a team. We're a team. We're working together, together. to achieve the same goal. Cool. And everything will be fine. Be fine. Yeah. Um, I think another easy way to be able to put this into perspective would be if we look at marriage as an organization. Now you have partners or board members, which which is mommy and daddy, and your kids are associates, and the so everybody has a goal that we're climbing up this career or financial ladder, mm. and the organization has to make money and let there be profit. So I think it would help you know that okay. Because I want to grow financially, I have targets I have to meet. I have to also keep money in the piggy bank. I have to keep money invest here. And also because of your associates coming up, they go to school. You want to invest in their education. You want you want them to do masters. You might even want to get returns. Yes, exactly. Get returns. <laughs> you return. Send them and to profits. school. Let them have money. And then you go. Returns. You start <laughs> ripping in the profit. So I think just so that it's an organization when this together to make profits. You know, we have to answer to board members to say. Oh, you know how in an organization the board members comes, how's our financial year this year? How much profit do we mm-hmm. make? You know? So that way, I think if you look at it in that aspect, because mm-hmm. I think most people are wired work-wise differently from how home-wise. Are, yeah. You understand? So if you bring a bit of home you bring a bit of the work or work ethic, um, ethic into, into it, I think it will help. I, I, I think an understanding of self and understanding of your spouse is very important in um, when it comes to financial issues in marriage, know who you know. You know, know who has the financial strengths, who has mm. the financial weaknesses, and work together to show Some up each other's strengths, strengths and, cover and you weaknesses. know, cover weakness. I'll be sure each other's weaknesses and enhance each other's strengths. Strength. I think that's that's um, the key thing. Aside um, transparency, um, aside um, communication. Because a lot of problems in marriage can be fixed by communication. Yeah. And then, you know, once you communicate, you can arrive at compromise. Yeah. And be willing to compromise. Don't be the the one who, I'm rigid. I am, I'm I am the mountain. Yeah. I do not move. No. Yeah. Be the tree. Yeah. Be Shake flexible. a little. Yeah. You know, move, move a little. Okay. If your spouse were talking about here, this is your partner. This is... The someone you father or mother of your children. Yeah, this someone you said, life you said I do too. And... Um, one of the vows is for richer or poorer, poorer. you know. Yeah. Let's try and work together to make sure it stays richer. And women, let the husbands trust you enough to be able to confide in how much. So now when you hear the money, you're like, ching, ching. Yeah, we're going on vacation, you know. Just allow them trust you so that that way you have information. And we are help, we're help, we're help partners. Let us help in this union. I think, I think if, you know, if... You put yourself in the perspective of the other person. You know, it's you know we've we've spoken to people who say things like it was when I lost my spouse that I realized that 
there were certain things they were doing that I took for granted. Granted, yeah. You know, both, I mean, it's, it's, it's as much as a woman talking about, you know, I just get into the car and drive. There's fuel in the car. I just um, put on the, my internet and it connects. There's you know, internet. Connect. <laughs> there's, there's, there's streaming. Yeah. There's gas, you know. Yeah. How it happens, I don't know. And men are saying, oh, you know, I didn't realize that getting children ready for school is such a big deal. I didn't realize how much work happens within shopping, the house. Or how I didn't the shopping, know how, the, yeah. how you have to stretch money. money to make sure that the shopping gets it's done enough. at the end of the month. You know, yeah. So if you actually just try to understand the other person's perspective, this person is trying to make sure that you know everything works. This person is trying to make sure that we can have a great future. Not I. Yeah. Not I and my children. Mm. No. We, we can all have a great future. Yeah. You're ready to sacrifice. This is someone that your children will go. They'll leave. They will at some point They'll in grow. time decide that it is time and they will leave. And then you and this person will be left together. What then? We'll you figure know. it out. <laughs> So I hope that we've been able to answer quite, um, some questions that you might have or issues that you've had in your yeah. marriage or relationship or union. And um, we are not experts. We're just sharing our views and sharing from our experience and how we have figured out ways to make it work for us. Um, so we're open to comments. We're open to questions. questions. If you feel like you want us to cover more topics, Always put Just it in the, in the comment in. section or send us an email and we will get right, we'll get back to you. That's all we have for you today, and we hope to see you again on the next episode of Love and Everything in Between. Catch you guys later. Bye. And now it's time for another challenge the ones where I always win. This time we're going to be playing charades. Um, my phone. Best of three. Cool. Okay. Yeah. All let's right. do this. Okay. So who's going first? Who's going first? Let me go, go first? first. Okay, you go first. All right. You need to guess. I will try to let you know what it is. On and my you screen. Need to guess. Okay. Yeah. All right. See how many you get correct. Okay. You good? All right. So press, press this. Play. Oh, it's upside down. All right. Let's go. Motorcycle. Riding, stealing, theft, motorcycle theft, power bike, riding on the freeway, riding a bike, riding a motorcycle, riding a bicycle, driving, driving a power bike, just driving, driving a power bike. A motorcycle. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay. Just got it. Okay. Um, Braiding my hair. Tongue. Tongue in my hair. Coiler. Coiling my wig. Coiling my hair. Try. Coiling your hair. Okay, so I have this, to do. This time's up. That's what you said. Oh, I only did two. Mm, it's apparently. Hey. The slogan. Earrings, air, phones, drawer, drawer. Chop, cut, knee, amputate. Staring, cup, hot, cup, mug, circle, tea bag, teacup, mug. Hot cup, drink, drinking a cup of coffee, drinking a hot cup, drinking, drink, drinking tea, drinking coffee, drinking hot chocolate, drinking chocolate, drinking tea, drinking milk, drinking coffee, drinking. It was a cocktail. So I said to the glasses. You are terrible. So how was I supposed to explain? You kept, and then she did this. 
like a cocktail. How does this <laughs> come to cocktail? You are terrible at this. I didn't know how to do it. Oh my god. So we're going one more time. <laughs> me eating. Food. So me eating food. Me. I love food. Ice cream. <laughs> Picture. Frame. Movie, cinema. Movies. Going to the movie. Oh, going to the movies. Explosion. Bomb. Crying. Sad. Tears. One tear. Writing novel. Work. Writer. Journalist. What is that? Students. Huh? Students. Pass. Carpet, rug. Walking down the stairs. Es escalator, staircase. Escalator, staircase, stairs. Walking down the stairs. Walking down the escalator. Going down. Correct. Sexy. Lingerie. Swimsuit. Swimwear. Sexy swim swimwear. Swe sexy swimsuit. Swimsuit. You. Sexy swimsuit. Big swimsuit swimming. Swimsuit. Swimwear, bikini. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 correct. Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So who won? I really don't understand how this game is going to work. <laughs> how did she win? Because I, I I won. I gave her I explained this better. You showed me a mug. <laughs> for cocktail. A mug. I know how to explain things. It always has to be about Bio doesn't know how to explain nothing. Hey, she Jesus. actually said mug instead of cocktail. Boy. Anyway, <laughs> catch you guys next time. You can hear someone humming. Oi! You can hear someone humming. Stop making noise. You're pushing the table. Sorry. Mm. People can on um, Yeah. Nation. Okay. I can't tell her everything. Mm. I have to spend money for myself. For myself, okay. But I tell her. Percent of it. Mm. So one more try, Abby. I think no. so. Because you have to be able to describe this thing. Like, if you can't describe it, you have to.